Hey guys, what's going on? This is Clayton again from The Hoth, back again with Local SEO Week. And today we're going to be talking about how to do killer local keyword research. And I think this is going to be really great for you guys. But before we get into that, I have to say this video is going to be different than other ones. When you see other videos, pretty much 99% of other keyword research videos out there say, go look at the AdWords keyword tool and plop stuff in there and do, do stuff. It's so boring. It's not helpful. So we're definitely going to change that up today. I'm going to show you guys some cool, fresh techniques to get your uh, local keyword research going. So here's what I got in store for you today. Keyword research is really the most fundamental part about SEO. And um, you know, if you target the wrong keywords uh, from the beginning, you're screwed. Every other part, of, every other part depends on your keyword research. This is the most important part. So these three quick strategies will basically make it impossible to fail. So if you follow these, uh, you're, you're going to be set up. And these techniques and tools are going to take out all the guesswork for you. So you don't have to just wonder if you uh, have good keywords or if it's going to have volume or if it's going to work. You will be able to have a totally awesome list of keywords after these three techniques. And these pretty much blanket it all. Uh, I mean, with these, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to find any more keywords that you um, are not uncovering. So these will set you up pretty good. All right, so let's get into it. All right, technique number one, this is keyword jacking, and I love this because basically what we're going to do is we're going to steal all of our competitors' keywords, and here's how. This basically involves just going out there and searching for head terms, so basically type in you know, whatever you think. Basically, if you're a roofer, we're going to be using that uh, example today, and type in roofing, and then type in the city that you're in, or if you're a dentist, type in dentist plus city. If you're personal injury lawyer, you get the idea. Type in whatever you think is probably the most general thing. And then we're gonna see some, um, we're gonna see some competitors ranking there. So we wanna look for regular sites, and then we're gonna take those, write them in, a, write them in like a little text edit. We're gonna throw them into a sweet tool that we got called SEMrush. We're going to see, which is gonna tell us every keyword that they are ranking for. We're gonna export that CSV, merge, sort by volume, and we're gonna jack those keywords. So let me show you real quick a real world example of, of how to exactly to do that. Let's get into it. Okay, so Google, let's help out some random company. Um, how about a roofing company in Arizona? So uh, we're gonna type in, we're just gonna look for a head term, right? So whatever we kind of think off the top of our head, then we're gonna do further research um, after that. So let's just say roofing in Arizona, if I can type, and uh, Phoenix, okay, so that's a town. I can't even spell Phoenix, so we'll just do this, okay. All right, so we're here, and uh, I can see a bunch of uh, websites here. We're looking for ones that are just regular websites, not Better Business Bureau or anything like that. Um, so this looks really good. So we're just gonna copy this one. We're gonna bust open a little text pad, there we go. And then we're gonna look for a couple more. So this one looks good because it's a normal dude's website. It's also ranking highly. And let's come down here so we can find like maybe two more, one or two more. This dude and this dude. Okay, so all these sites are just um, regular websites, not Better Business Bureau, not Yelp, no, none of that stuff. And they're just ranking on the first page for a term that I thought would be pretty relevant. Okay, now we got, we got these four dudes right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this really awesome tool called SEMrush. And this, this tool is the bomb. If you don't have it, you should definitely get it. What I did is we have this little list right here of uh, uh, companies that are, are um, ranking highly. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna plug the first one in right here into SEMrush. And SEMrush, what it's gonna do, it's really awesome. You get a bunch of different data from here. Um, but right here on the left under this organic research tab, I can see that they have 97 positions that they're ranking for. So that's awesome. So this website has been SEO'd. They're ranking for a bunch of terms. So we're just going to click on that. And then we're going to come over here and it's going to show all these different ones. So you can look at it from this dashboard, get sorted by volume, sort by their position. But basically you can already see that, you know, there is a quite a lot of different terms that they're ranking for like uh, Phoenix Roofing, um, Roofing Contractors Tucson, um, you know, Roofing Companies that Finance, uh, you know, a bunch of different stuff right here, okay? We can come and pick out the exact keywords we want later, but all these searches are getting hundreds a month. I'm thinking that we could probably find um, searches that are even higher volume than this, but this is just number one. So what we do is we go over here, hit export, and we're gonna export that to a CSV or Excel, it doesn't matter, whatever you want. 
and that'll download right there. Now we're just gonna do the same thing for the other three that we got, see if any of these dudes have even better SEO than this guy. So let's look at kaikoroofing.com. 51 positions, not bad. Might even have some of the same um, same keywords as the other one, but that's fine. We're just gonna merge all these in a bit. So export that CSV and then now we got four different dudes that have all optimized for these terms. Let's go ahead, open these all up, merge them all and see what we got. After. All right, so what you got here is just, uh, we merged all, all of the different reports together, came up here to the top and uh, sorted it by search volume. So you can see, we can just start going through here. We have all these different terms in here that our competitors are ranking for. And what we can do now is just go through here, pick out the ones that we want. So you start looking for localized terms. So I just highlighted a few here. You got Roofing Phoenix, uh, that's getting 210 searches a month. Roof Repair Phoenix, uh, Roofers Phoenix. Now a lot of these are the same, but that's fine. We're just in keyword research mode. We can actually optimize our site. Now we'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, but basically we're just trying to get a bunch of ideas and some search volumes for keywords that our competitors are ranking for. Um, sometimes this leads to some stuff that's uh, pretty normal that you can guess, like these are pretty normal. Other times you uncover some weird long tails that uh, your competitors have that you didn't think of before. Um, you can also start uncovering if some of the surrounding cities, some of the suburbs actually have some search volume. And even if not, you can still get the kinds of terms that in general that people are searching for. So that's it for the competitor jacking section. Let's get on to the next. Okay, now for technique number two. This is called the related keyword scrape. So basically what we're going to do for this technique is we're going to go into Google. We're going to get all of the suggested searches. So this can be uh, not only the stuff that comes up in auto-suggest, but also at the bottom of Google in the related search boxes. So Google will tell us what other people are searching for. So it's a really great place to grab related keywords and related phrases, etc. So you can do this a couple different ways. Number one, you can manually go in via Google and type in your keywords there, scroll down to the bottom, and then find the good ones. Or you can also just plug these terms in SEMrush and that will give you a related keywords report. You can export that. <coughs> so you can just keep doing this and just merge them with the same thing that we just did for technique number one. And you should have a pretty good list by now. Let me get into like a real world example of how to do that. So we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna do roofing in Phoenix, if I can spell it right. And then we just come down here to the bottom and we see if there's anything here. So we'll find the relevant ones, roofing supplies, maybe that would be one. Maybe we can capture some people. And then we're just gonna you know, get a little text edit going on over here. Let me get rid of this. That right there, metal roofing Phoenix, possibly. I don't know much about roofing, but uh, yep. Uh, roofing contractors, let's see what we got. Just copy all these down right here. And then what you can do is, <clears throat> you can actually just uh, come in here and we'll do it again. So just copy and paste it in here and go down the bottom again and see if there is any more related stuff you can get. If you don't wanna do that manually, that's the manual method, you can just hop over at SEMrush, actually, give me one second when you get over there. You can hop over at SEMrush right here and not only can you just enter domains up here, but you can also enter in um, actual keywords. So you just come down here and you can see this related keywords report and you can just export that. All right, the third and final technique that we got, we're gonna call the suburb bomb drop. From the first two techniques, we already have a bunch of head terms. So what we wanna do is we wanna see if any of the surrounding areas have any volume for that. And we're gonna do this in an automated fashion. So the first thing which you're gonna do is you're gonna bust out your list of head terms. So all the things that don't have a geo modifier. So all of the terms that are like roofing, roofing contractor, etc. We're gonna get a list of like five, 10, 20 of those. And then we are going to go to this website called the five minute site creator. And it, basically what it's gonna do is it's going to put all of our head terms with all of the surrounding suburbs, areas, and do every kind of combination of state and area and mixture of all of that together. Then we're gonna throw that baby into the keyword planner and see if it has any volume. So let's get into a real world example of that right now. Basically you, what you wanna do is you wanna get a list of all the head terms. So everything that we found from here that has some search volume, you know, the good terms that don't have a geo modifier. So like, for instance, roofing contractors, roofing companies, um, roofing company, 
uh, residential roofing, uh, all these kinds of different ones that we got here. Just copy those and put those in a little text file. So you see I already prepared this. I got like five or 10 different variations. So you can grab these from that earlier spreadsheet we made, um, or you can also come over to this other cool keyword tool that I have set up right here. It's called keywordtool.io. And what this is, it's a Google Suggest scraper. You can just go ahead and put a head term in here and it's gonna pull all the Google Suggest results. See, it comes up with a bunch of different variations right here, like roofing contractors, roofing, roofing shingles, roofing materials, roofing supplies. Some of them might be uh, more relevant than others, so you might want to um, pick out which ones are good. Or if not, you can just hit copy all right here, and uh, it'll copy all of those uh, Google Suggest results. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to this real cool tool, and we're going to find all the cities that are very close to us. So. Let me scroll back up to the top. This is a tool, this is super sweet. It's called 5minutesite.com. We're gonna go here and what you can do is you can put all of your keywords right here, all the ones um, that don't have a geo modifier, your head terms that are really good. And then you're gonna throw in your zip code here of where your uh, main company is or where the center of your service radius is. Type in this radius that you serve. So 25 miles or probably less depending. And then come in here and check all these. I would probably uncheck this one, include zip codes and results because well, I don't think that very many people search with zip codes. <laughs> uh, but I would check this one, include location keyword and keyword location and results. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to hit submit. And what this is going to do is it's going to combine all those head terms with every freaking city that's in that radius. So you're going to get a thousand different variations right here. Um, and by a thousand, I mean probably 3,000 or 6,000, depending on how many um, you actually put in there. So <laughs> you see there's quite a bit here. Every variation, Gilbert, Arizona, roof repair contractor, every variation. Um, copy this. Just scroll up, copy this for about 10 minutes, uh, throw that into an Excel file or uh, excuse me, like a uh, CSV. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the Google Keyword Planner. Okay. So you can copy and paste like a thousand in here, but you can also upload, upload 3000, I believe. So I'm just going to upload that file that I saved right there. And we're going to see if any of these have search volume. Now, 99% of the time, most of those don't have any search volume, um, but we're just going to see what comes up. You might find a city nearby, a suburb that actually does have some search volume. So here we go. We're in the keyword ideas tab right here, and we're just going to sort by average monthly searches. And you can see that Phoenix roofing comes up the top, obviously, because that is like the biggest city in the area. Um, but we also see some other ones coming up like Chandler roofing, Avondale roofing, and they do have over a hundred searches a month. So that might be you know, a couple pages that we want to throw up in that area. So there's no telling what you're going to get, but that is a suburban bomb drop. All right, guys. So that's the end of keyword research with, if you use these three techniques, there's basically no way that you haven't found awesome keywords. Um, but if you do have any questions or even need any more suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to join our special uh, local SEO group on Facebook. It's the private group. You can go, you can find it by searching on Facebook for local SEO ballers, or just go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Hoth, and you'll see it right up there at the top. All right, guys, thanks so much, and we'll talk tomorrow.